you want the mouse like noodle? No, you want the mouse like noodle? Man, I'm fuck your bitch! <laughs> Good night, guys. Eh. My balls. My balls are cold. My balls are cold. My balls are cold. Um, well, quite frankly, it seems like God is going to take a shit on me. Yeah, it looks like it's about to rain. Actually, it is getting ready to rain. We have a big ass fucking weather system getting ready to rape us in the butthole. But if you're in Northern Virginia or Pennsylvania or somewhere up in the North Hemisphere, God's gonna be like, ha ha ha, skeet skeet bitches. It's gonna snow up in there. Y'all about to get some massive amounts of snow. Cause I saw this storm, and this storm is like one big bitch. It's like, it's like a big bitch in a in a an aisle where only one person can walk away to, can walk through no matter what you do you ain't getting by because that bitch is just gonna shit on you and you can't get out of it the storm's coming from the west and it's about to butt rape everyone so try not to get wet here even though i got my rain gear on but anyways Getting butt raped by Mother Nature is not today's uh, topic. Today's topic is um, a little bit of bike maintenance. Bike maintenance! Word to your brother! Oh, look at that. Everyone cleared away from me. They were like, whoa! Whoa! Badass coming through. Everyone clear. I wish everyone did that for me. That'd be, that'd be awful nice. Oh, look! The sale sign! That needed Viagra the other day has finally got up. I must have taken my advice. Just some of that Cialis dough. Ain't worth the wait, bitch. Um, so uh, I want to talk about some bike maintenance. Uh, a lot of people have questions about it. Um, and not only that, um, people that are looking into bikes, it'd be a great thing for you guys to know. Can you handle a bike? Can you handle a motorcycle? Um, with its maintenance or is it too much for you uh, when it comes to time to be honest guys um, I am possibly the biggest fucking retard when it comes to cars and fixing shit like I understand the concept of an oil change but don't fuck out tits don't ask me to do it on a, a fucking car because it won't happen but on a bike I can do it um, so if I can do this shit, anyone can. Because when I say I'm the biggest fucking retard when it comes to DIY, I'm the biggest fucking retard when it comes to do it yourself. Oh, my hair itches. Alright, I'm good. Alright, so basic maintenance with the motorcycle is um, a couple things. Obviously, you have the oil change, which, guys, so fucking easy. Please do not get a dealership to change your oil. It is so ungodly easy that. I don't understand why dealerships even do it or offer it. Um, on top of that, uh, clean your chain. You gotta, you want to have a clean chain, unless you have a Harley and you have a belt and you don't have to do that. Um, uh, another big thing is your your oil filter that comes along with the oil, changing the oil. Uh, your air filter is a nice uh, to keep your bike running, you know, nice and smooth with as much power as it has. Um, keep your bike clean too. Um, clean your bike regular is a is a big a big plus. Uh, it keeps all your stuff from rusting. Um, another thing that goes along with rusting is keep your shit in a garage or somewhere where it's not gonna get rained on. Number one reason fucking a bike looks like shit is from rain. The seats will start to peel, the paint will have water spots, and all the fucking bolts will just be rusted over. And you will have yeah you might have a nice bike, but it will look like shit because take care of it. Uh, I know I'm going to forget some stuff you always do when you're motovlogging, but uh, what else is some great stuff? Oh yeah, um, brake reservoir. Bleeding your brakes is a great thing. Um, you don't have to do it very often. However, uh, you do have to do it every once in, once in uh, a blue moon. It keeps your uh, your front brake and your back brake nice and sensitive. Sen sensitive. Sensitivity. Uh, it keeps it nice and sensitive. Um, so where, if you can pull this baby right here, if you can pull it back to right here, I can't pull mine any farther than that. If you can pull it back to here, you need to bleed your brakes. I mean, your brake calibers are not getting 
like if they have air in them or they're not getting the necessary uh, fluids. Um, brake reservoir cover, it helps it from, uh, from the brake fluid from getting destroyed by the sun and it just looks cool. Um, come on, bitch. One other great thing is there. Um, if you have uh, carburetors, carburetors need to be cleaned every so often, right? I'm not too big on the carburetors, um, but carburetors can be cleaned. Um, spark plugs are great to change out every so often. I mean, not like fucking every year, like every couple of years, or I don't know how. They last for a while, but it's great to change stuff out. When you change stuff out, it's a great feeling. Um, another great side thing is um, your... If you don't know what this is called, it's called dielectric grease. It's this little grease tube. And you unplug your snappers and you put grease on both sides and you put this, like your electric snappers and you put them back together. Like uh, your, your harnesses, like little snap harnesses for electrics. And um, it's not a need, but it keeps your stuff nice and clean and keeps it from rusting. Um, I love dielectric grease, I really do. I'm a dielectric grease maniac. Um, uh, like all the plugs under the tank, if you lift the tank up and put dielectric grease and everything, you're saving them from rust and you're saving them from future problems. Um, uh, fuck, I can't really think of anything else. I'm probably missing a couple things, guys. Uh, fucking, fucking shit. Um, headlights, I guess, make sure headlights are always good. Um, dirt and rocks off your chain. Tires, make sure you have good tires. That's about it. If you guys have any other bike maintenance that you do to your bike, leave it down there. Like I said, it's, it's hard to think of everything when you motovlog because you're thinking of a lot of things. So when it comes to motovlogging, you're like, brain fart, hashtag. But uh, bike maintenance is a great thing. Um, not only is it great for your bike, keeps your bike running nice, keeps your bike from breaking down or any, ooh, that was a Nismo 370Z new one too. Not only does it help all that shit, it also is an amazing feeling. I can't tell you how great of a feeling bike maintenance is until you actually do it. I love doing bike maintenance simply because it keeps Nessie good and running and it is the feeling of doing something to your bike to prevent it from breaking down or, or doing something by yourself like that is so like heartwarming. But you don't you wouldn't know unless you did it getting the dealership to do your shit is way too expensive at most times so just learn on your own that's why i do uh, how-to videos so you guys can learn and stay away from stuff because i'm here for you guys if you got any how-to videos um i'm gonna do an oil change or bleeding your brakes i'm gonna do how-to videos on those here soon so any other ones just hit me up leave it in the comments so what do you guys think what do you do to fix your bike and whatnot and i guess i'll hear from you guys but other than, that, other than that guys i'm gonna go ahead and head out of here before it starts raining and whatnot so uh everyone take care i'll see you on another day everyone please be safe in this weather if you're on the east coast or if you are in bad weather please be safe all right everyone take it easy i will talk to everyone later civilized pedestrian or motorcyclist. Um, so I wanted to talk about the uh, future of motorblogging. Motorblogging of 2014. It's uh, 